and hi, my name is Najahani Smith Zainuddin with number metric 152-956. Me, Nur Nazra Binti Zakaria, metric number 153604. We are third year student of medical physics and we are presenting Marie Curie and Spookuries. My light. And I will win it. know who Marie Curie is? Marie Curie was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first person to win the prize twice, and the first person to win in two different fields. And Curie was best known for her work in radioactivity, which saved a million lives during the First World War. But she would ultimately take her own. After she finished her study in Paris, she planned on returning to Poland, but then Bill Curie came into her life. Curie was integrated by Becquerel's discovery and investigated further. She used an electrometer invented by her husband and his brother to measure radioactivity in many substances and material. She realized through her experiment that radiation was a property of the element uranium. Yet when she observed the mineral with the mineral fish plant, which primarily contained uranium, she noticed it was far more radioactive than uranium could explain. How cool a kid were you raised to be? I'm calling it radiation from now on. Hmm, okay, cool. How cool is the radiation? It's cool, but this thing gives us 400 times more radiation than uranium. It gives us so much radiation that I'm going to call it radium. I'm calling this one polonium after where I was born. You were born in polonium? No, Poland. And then they discovered another element that gave off 900 times more radiation than polonium. It is radium. But what were Becquerel's fears when along came Marie Curie and her husband, Marie Curie, who were fascinated by this new discovery. Mary developed technique for isolating radioactive isotopes or form of the same element with different properties. She used radioactive materials to treat cancer. Pierre had the idea of implanting small seeds of radioactive material into tumors to shrink them. Pierre was also sick, suffering from pain and fatigue. They had no idea at the time that radiation could be detrimental to their health. The curious deal with it without equipment or precautions. They would carry it in their pocket, touch it with their bare hand, and have it with them all the time. Radium would be a key element in early cancer treatment and would also find its way into everyday products, such as toothpaste with the promise of benefiting teeth and facial creams in the belief that it will firm muscles and smooth out wrinkles. The element was so popular that even in the 1920s, it was very expensive. After Pierre died, Mary became the first female professor in France. She went on to win a second Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, for the discovery of polonium and radium. The isolation of radium and the study of the nature of those remarkable elements. As German troops headed toward Paris, she took her stash of precious radium to a bank vault in southwestern France, the new capital. After the National Bank refused to buy her two gold Nobel Prize, she was determined to use her research to save the life of French soldiers. Curie then brought X-ray machines to the battlefield by inventing mobile units called Little Curies to help surgeons locate and remove shrapnel and bullet from wounded soldiers. Despite the danger, Curie also oversaw 200 radiological rooms in field hospital. It's estimated that by the end of the war, her efforts saved the life of a million men, which may have caused her own. Curie knew that overexposure to X-rays would pose risk to her health, but there was not any time to improve safety practice. Years later, she would die of a plastic anemia a blood disease likely due to exposure to large amount of radiation over her lifetime. She was already in poor health by then. On July 4, 1934, Curie died at the age of 66. 
Her remains were radioactive, so they were placed in a coffin lined with nearly an inch of lead. Now we know it can be really harmful. But curious is not books and even things from 100 years ago are so radioactive until today that they have to be stored in a low case. Anyone who wants to submit them must wear a protective gear and sign a waiver. Curious Tyler's work was surpassed only by her fight to overcome the barriers in her way to become one of the greatest scientists of all time. It was not only her work that was impressive, but also her work ethic. Thank you everyone! That's all from us. Hope you guys enjoy it! Bye-bye!